Inside this box, directly from Japan, is a brand new, updated version of the PS5. What, you might ask, is in a brand new updated version of the PS5 that I definitely spent a lot of money to have overnighted to California? We're about to find out. Okay, so we got ourselves a little uh, situation, a little update. Definitely something worth talking about. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm not even going to bore you guys with a crazy intro because I want to get right into this. So the longer-awaited PS5 revision is indeed happening and has indeed already been shown. Austin Evans broke the system down. He actually uh, did a full-fledged teardown to see the big difference between the base model and, of course, the revision. And I do have some questions about this, to say the least. So let's go ahead and get into this, man. Um, so as you guys already know, revisions are nothing new when it comes to next-gen consoles. I mean, look at the PlayStation 3. It started off with that insane chrome finish type of look with the opening, with the open door that had the memory card slots in the front, the whole nine yards. They literally gave you everything with the PS3. And then when you fast forward a little bit in terms of the months, in terms of, you know, Sony trying to get as many as they could on the shelves, they eventually swapped all that stuff out. They removed the chrome. They gave you this uh, plastic film on it. And plus, they close the door and stuff like that. Sony has essentially done that exact same process with the PlayStation 5. Again, it's the exact same look for those of you that are new to revisions. It's the exact same look, nothing different, right? However, this particular new unit is lighter than what we got for the PlayStation 5 base model. It also is uh, quieter, which is a uh, positive, right? However, um, this is where we start getting some questionable decisions. Now, for those of you that were complaining about your stand, they did fix the issues with the stand. They gave you a more sturdy uh, stand this time around. I didn't have issues with mine, but I know some people were questioning that, especially at launch. So I'm guessing faulty units. So they actually did fix that this time around with the new stand. But other than that, let's just go ahead and get right into what the big issue is with this particular unit. Austin Evans did a thermal test between both this unit and the base model PlayStation 5, and he noticed that the new model runs hotter than the base model. Now, I know a lot of you guys might be going, well, that's probably not a big deal, right? It's probably the game. Well, it actually isn't. They were both running the same game, which is Astro's Playroom. Astro's Playroom is not really a crazy demanding game on the PlayStation 5. I think we all can agree there. It's not really that much. However... This is where we're going to start getting into some uh, questions when it comes to the future of this particular unit. Let's go ahead and skip right now to the teardown. In the actual teardown, obviously the first thing you'll notice when they tear this stuff down is the PlayStation 5's uh, heatsink. Now, the biggest thing about the PS5, of course, this is what makes it heavy to say the least with the PS5, is the heatsink. The reason why Sony went with this is because Sony has always had issues with heat dissipation in consoles, and Sony really wants wanted to fix that with the PS5 because they were going to be rocking the latest AMD, obviously, CPUs, right? And, of course, that CPU is just like with the C with the Series X. Those CPUs are bound by the hardware, which is consoles, so they're not really going to get, you know, they're going to get as much as they can out of those CPUs, obviously. They're, they're fine, right? Which is great. I'm happy with what they're giving us with the consoles, but you get what I'm saying. I'm just trying to put that in layman's terms. When we look at the CPUs, when we look at the actual form factor of the PS5, especially with the overall heatsink, that was the biggest thing Sony was very proud of. They showed this off in the teardown. And again, the purpose of this heat sink was to help with the heat dissipation of the actual system and keep the thermals in check, okay? Sony, with the new particular version that they're going for now with the revision, they went with a slightly smaller version of this particular, uh, you know, a heat sink. It's the same form factor, but it's obviously smaller. They threw this in here. Now, basically, the reason why Sony did this is because, again, they got over a year of data on the PS5, and they figured with a smaller heatsink, we probably can uh, get this out here, get the same performance out the box, right, and have little issues. But this is where I have to question a few things, and this is where, you know, someone who's broke this stuff down numerous times has to really definitely look at as you guys know the ps5 runs at a variable clock it doesn't run at a stock frequency where it's constant it shifts 
depending on what the uh, system is doing, right? It really shifts. It has different, uh, you know, depending on the function of the console, it shifts. So when you factor that type of stuff in with the system and you factor in that these systems are inev inevitably going to get, like, caked in dust for a lot of uh, users, right? You definitely got to question just how well this is going to hold up with the overall unit. In fact, Austin Evans even brought up a good point about this too. When you have a design like this, when you're taking away heat dissipation and you're leaving room for, you know, dirt to build up or dust to build up, you can essentially lose performance in the overall games. And this right here can actually uh, lead to uh, failures in this particular design. Absolutely. Well, we know it's not as efficient because it runs hotter. The fan sounds a little bit better, but that makes sense because this is, I, bet, I believe, a slightly better fan. That does not compensate for the lack of, I mean, I'm gonna guess when we weigh these, 300 grams difference in heat sink. Yeah, I don't wanna like make any bold claims here, but that doesn't seem good. No, no, there's no scenario in which this is good. Technically, if Sony is able to get usable, good uh, performance out of this smaller, lighter heat sink, they save money and it should be okay. But we know that even with a very brief test, this one runs hotter, which makes sense because I'm sure the chip inside is the exact same. Look, you've got all this extra copper here. Yeah. They, I guess for the launch models, over-engineered the cooling Which they, they should needed. have done because Sony, again, has had major problems yeah. with heat in their consoles. I would guess what's happened is that Sony, now that they've got almost a year of PS5 data, they've spent more time testing everything, have determined that while, yes, this is going to run a little bit hotter. That's probably fine, that yeah. it won't negatively impact things that much. I don't know, man, that, that doesn't seem wise, considering that the PS5, like you said, changes its wattage based on what's going on yes. in the console. So potentially long-term, especially as you imagine this gets started to get caked in dust and whatnot, you've got less fins, less mass, you could actually lose performance. But I wonder though, with everything being so expensive to produce right now that this actually helps their bottom line compensate Absolutely. for the past No, no, 100% does yeah. because yeah. they just announced that they're making a profit on these things now yeah. instead of taking a loss. Again, they're running Astro's Playroom, not a demanding game, but let's say if they were running Returnal. Now, Returnal has had an issue with crashing, and this is due to, of course, heat. This game gets very hot. The system crashes, right, to reboot. That's what it does when it reboots the uh, when it rebuilds the database. For those of you who are wondering, it rebuilds it. It reboots. It does that so the system can stay, you know, optimized. That's what they do. This is exactly the same thing here. I'm expecting those type of results for stuff like that. And keep in mind, we're not even pushing the hardware all the way. Just imagine when we get into the further realm of the PS5 when we're really pushing the hardware with PS5 only titles. I mean only only titles when we're not when we don't have PS4 on the sidelines here. I'm just throwing it out there. So it is questionable to say the least to see what we're going on here. But I'll definitely leave his uh, version of that take in the video as well so you guys can hear what he says here. They did put a new fan in the newer model to help with this, but again, there's not really that much help for a new fan when you have a, you know, when you have a heat sink that's, that's smaller than what we're getting with the base model. In fact, it's, uh, it's questionable to say the least. So those are just my takes on that particular uh, matter. So there you guys go. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this. Are you guys excited about the revision? Are you more cautious now looking at this? I know a lot of you guys are saying we're beta testers with the basic uh, models, but at this point, Usually beta testing would result in uh, better results, right? And in this particular case, these are not really, I mean, I guess you could say they're better, slightly, right? Slightly better results, but they're questionable results to say the least for the long-term haul. And it's stuff that we definitely got to consider down the road. So that's just my take. But um, yeah, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I appreciate you guys checking it out. Um, if I don't upload tomorrow, well, tomorrow is a big day for yours truly. Tomorrow is my birthday. I turn 29. So if you guys want to leave me a birthday message just in case I don't upload tomorrow, I would appreciate it. Thank you guys again for watching. I appreciate you guys. It's uh, good to be back on camera. Good to be back on the mic. And um, yeah. See you guys on the next one. You guys be blessed. Y'all be easy. And I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. Deuces.